I can with some names and words in English, sorry. Welcome to the second stadium tour vlog. I didn't do a properly stadium tour actually. The security guys and some people from the staff of this stadium and of this team just allowed me to enter to the pitch, to enter to the stadium, to took a lot of pictures and to discover the stadium, but just like for a five or ten minutes more or less. Let's go to the 20 things you need to know about this stadium. First, the Tyne Castle Park is located in Edinburgh. Second, the stadium tour was opening on 10 April of 8086 with a match between Hearts and Bolton Wanderers. Third, the capacity of the stadium is about 20,100 spectators. Fourth, this stadium had different capacities during the history, started with the wooden stands and 10,000 spectators. And finally, in 2017, the stadium got the actual seats. Fifth, on the 14th February of 1932, they got a record crowd of 53,396 attended a Scottish Cup match between Hearts and Rangers. Six. During the reconstruction of the new main stain, the herd of Middletown was playing at Murrayfield. The team go back on their home on November of 2017. Seventh, the reopening after the renovation was in a match for the league against Patrick Tissel. Eighth, the first international game at this stadium was in 1892 between Scotland and Wales. Victory for Scotland, 6-1. That match just had 1,200 spectators because the people supposed the match would be postponed. Nevertheless, they played with a small public and a snow storm included. Tank Castle has been a home venue for the Scotland national team in nine occasions in total. Six of them was against Wales, which is a known common or crowded game, and the least box office games potential has often played outside the official home of the national team, Hampden Park in Glasgow. Well, recently Thine Castle became the home of a Scotland women's national football team. In 1885, hosted a World Championship between the winners of Premier League and the Scottish League champions. In that game, her lost against Sunderland. The Jungles had their revenge in 1902 when they beat Tottenham 3 1. That match has the second World Champions hosted by Tynecastle. In the old pitch, they hosted their first rugby games, England against Australia. In the new ground, also hosted other rugby games. The most relevant one was Scotland against Samoa. Tynecastle was one of the venue when Scotland hosted 1989 FIFA Under 16 World Championship. On 20 of June, with 28,555 fans supporting, Scotland defeat Portugal. And the Portuguese team was playing Rui Costa and Luis Figo. On 2nd of August 2019, Tynecastle Park hosted the opening event of Edinburgh International Festival. Over than 15,000 free tickets, living streaming on Facebook and broadcasting on a classic FM radio, Los Angeles Philharmonic Leaded by Gustavo Dudamel, played a selection of Hollywood film soundtracks, including Jurassic Park, Star Wars, and E.T. The architect is Jim Clydesdale. Heard of Midlontain was writing their history since 1874. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this stadium tour. I hope you really like it, and I hope you will. Uh, waiting or looking forward to see the other stadium tour I hope this year in a future months I can do it more stadium tours to have a new videos to have a lot of things and see you tomorrow with a new chapter of Joko Penales y tu haces el challenge and waiting for the rest of the videos because it will be really really good thanks to be here thanks to comment thanks to subscribe and never, never, ever, ever forget with the sports and art we can grow up.